So guys, welcome to a wonderful programming example that is uh, printing Fibonacci series till n. So first of all, try to understand what do you mean by Fibonacci series. So I'll write some series before you. I'll write some series before you. Just have a look on that. So one, one, two, three, five. Now I want you guys to guess the next number. Now I want you guys to guess the next number. So next number is uh, eight and the next number is 13. So how these series are getting generated? Imagine nothing is, the, is there before this one. So when you add the, the number with the previous number, then you'll get the next number. Means I'll add this one to one with zero, then I'll produce the next number. Again, I'll add the result with the previous number. Then two will be produced. Two is the result. I'll add this two with the previous number. The next number will be produced. I'll add this result with the previous number, like uh, five will be produced. I'll add this five with the previous number, then uh, eight will be produced. I'll add this 8 with the previous number, then 13 will be produced. Now again, can you guess what will be the next number? Can you guess what is the next number? So 21 is the next number. Is it clear? 21 is the next number. So let's, let's see how we can implement this example. So what we'll do is we'll take three variables. Say one is A, second one is B, and third one is C. So here you have to add A and B and that will produce C, okay? So initially the value of A is one, just imagine B, B value is zero. So when you say A plus B, then what you'll get? You'll get C. So C is nothing but what you'll get? You'll get one plus zero, one. So you can print that uh, one on the screen. Okay, print C, you can print one answer in, then what you have to do is, the second number, you have to copy it to the first variable. Means you have to assign the second number's value to the first. So what you have to do is, you have to say A equals to B. Means whatever is there in the B that you are assigning to A, so A will get zero. And whatever is there in the third number that you have to assign it to second number. So you have to say B equals to C. Logic is very simple, straightforward. This is your first number. This is your second number. This is your third number. So what do you have to do? Second number, you have to assign it to first. Third number, you have to assign it to second. Means B, you have to assign it to A. C, you have to assign it to B. Okay. And this will become one now. Zero plus one, how much? One. Print C, you'll get one on the screen. I said second number, you have to assign it to first. So this one will come here. Third number, you have to assign it to second number. This one will come here. One plus one, again, you'll get two here. So two will be printed. Second number, you have to assign it to this first. And the third number, you have to assign it to second. And one plus two, three will get it. You will print three on the screen. Second number, you're assigning to first. Third number, you're assigning to, third number, you're assigning to second, three, Two plus three, you'll get five. Is it clear? So you'll be printing five. So what you have to do is, you have to repeat these statements. You have to repeat these statements. One is C equals to A plus B and the print of C and this one. These four lines, you have to repeat it continuously. These four lines, addition, printing C, Assigning second to first, third to second. These four lines you have to repeat it multiple number of times. So the program is write a program to print Fibonacci, Fibonacci series till n actually, till n. So here, this is our uh, C free ID. I'll declare one variable with the name n. Okay. I'll take one variable with the name i because I want to repeat one for loop right from 1 to till n. And then we have to take three variables, a, b, c for uh, 
generating that uh, Fibonacci series sequence. Okay. So this is, let me write in the comments. This is a program to generate 10 program to generate n Fibonacci series, okay? And now I'll assign a equals to one, okay? And b equals to c equals to n equals to i equals to, everything can assign it to zero. And here you'll say print of how many numbers you want to generate. I'm asking the user like how many numbers you want to generate. Scan of percentage D, comma M percent of N. Fine. Now start one for loop. I, you started with one. I is less than or equal to N. And I'll say I plus plus. The for loop will get repeated from one to N. And every time what you have to do is, you have to say C equals to A plus B. Add first number, second number, store it into the third number actually. Okay. Or after this, what you have to do is you have to say print of, okay, and uh, slash T tab space percentage D and the print the value of uh, C. And then you have to make your second number to first number. Means second number you have to assign it to first one. So you can say A equals to B and you can say B equals to C. That's it, guys. We have done with the program. That's it, we have done with the program. Just run this program. When you run this program, it'll ask you. It'll ask you how many numbers you want to generate. I'll say, I want to generate 10 numbers. So you can see here, you'll find uh, 10 Fibonacci series. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55. And that press any key to continue message. I want to print it in the next line. So you can say print of slash m this is one way and uh, the, see few people uh, explain this logic by taking variables like n1 n2 n3 is it clear so what you can do is you can simply take variables like n1 n2 and uh, n3 is it clear so i'll just remove this see logic will not change only variables names we have changed here what i'll do is i'll say n3 equals to n1 plus n2 and you have to print the n3 so i'll say slash t percentage d comma n3 after printing n3 second number you have to assign it to first actually so n1 equals to you will say n2 and third number you have to assign it to second so you will say n2 equals to n3 that's it the program is done and sorry this is like N1, we have to set it to 1, N2, and this is uh, N3. These variables also have to change it. I have changed. Okay. And now we can run this program. So how many numbers you want to generate? I am saying I want to generate 12 numbers. So you can see here, 12 numbers are generated. Is it clear? Uh, right from 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 24, 34. 21, 34, 55, 89, 144. Okay, so this is the program to generate uh, Fibonacci series uh, up to N actually. There are people in industry, they may ask you to generate Fibonacci series up to 100. Is it clear? So that program also, this program, you can change it to that, uh, that logic. In that, what you can do is, you need not to declare N, I, all these variables are not required. You can just take uh, only three variables, n1, n2, n3, okay, and uh, this input statement, you can remove it. This input statement, you can remove it. And here, you remove this for loop, you remove this for loop. And what you can do is you can say, while, while n3 is less than or equal to 100, you repeat this loop, that's it. Okay, so this is known as Fibonacci series up to 100. But actually what happens, you know, it will print up to, it will print up to 144. You can observe. 
it will print up to 144. Why? Because whenever the N3 is 55, then it will enter into body of the loop and it will get added with the previous number. So if you want to print only up to 100, then what you can do is before printing, you can check actually if N3 is greater than 100, is it clear? You can simply say break. Means you come out of the loop, you don't print it. Now you'll get only up to 89, you can see here. You'll get numbers only up to 89. Why? Because when N3 is 89, it will enter into body of the loop. After that, it will get added with 55. So that you will get 144. Now what you are doing is uh, uh, within the body of the loop, again you are checking whether the, the result is uh, less than 100 or not. If it is greater than 100, you simply break it. Is it clear? So this is how you can uh, write the program. This is how you can write the program. Or you can use one more logic. You can say if N3 is uh, less than 100, is it clear? Then only you take care of this printing job. Is it clear? Then only you take care of this printing a deciding job. Okay. And here you need not to give any break. You need not to give any break. And here you can see this program will produce result up to 89 and it will get stopped. So there are many different ways to write this Fibonacci series program. So hope you guys understood this uh, programming example.